Wow, such an amazing game and fun to play. Wait, let me check my Instagram. Mm. Oh wow, that boy has posted a very nice photo. Oh my god, my photo has two lakh likes. I cannot believe it. Let me go to my Facebook. Wow, my photo has so many likes. Oh my god. Isn't this an addiction? Throw it away. Yeah, I was talking about social media. Of course, I was talking about the addiction of online things. Just like that mobile and many other devices. So hello everyone, Zarin Tasim Piyam here again before you. And today, I'm here to talk about online courses or online classes and its merits and demerits. So as you can see that I gave an example of demerits before but also I can give you an example of merits. Before that, I'm gonna tell you that please do watch this video until the end so that you can know what are the merits and demerits of online classes. So let's move on to the main discussion. Of course, online classes are contributing a lot to us because during this pandemic, we cannot go to our educational institutions, so it has become really hard to learn. But online education is supporting us so much that we are able to learn a bit or something through online. We can learn, so our learning process is never stopped. Yeah, in this case, we know that online classes have started from the very beginning, like not the very beginning, like in the middle of March from last year, 2020, and it has still been continuing. Okay, so in this case, online classes have a lot of effects on our lives. They are both good effects, they are both bad effects. Remember one thing, that whatever you do, whatever you see is happening on this world, everything, every, every, everything has a good side and also a bad side. So this is the quality of each and everything which exists on this earth right now. Okay. So first, let me talk about the merits of online classes. Of course, at first, we are able to gain education. We are able to gain knowledge. This is the most advantage of online classes that though we cannot go to school or our educational institutions or even workplaces, we can do our works, we can do our studies at home online. And yeah, we can also buy different stuffs online, like we, if we have shortage of clothes, we can buy clothes online. If we have shortage of food or groceries and we are not able to go out because we are not wanting to take any risks, then we can order groceries online. We can also order food online, like if you have forgotten to make your food, we can also order it online. So what not necessities you get from online, but remember something using more excessive is really excessive and bad. If you use online excessive, like, oh my God, I am just wanting to buy something more and more and more and more, like I cannot stop doing it. So that's excessive and that's bad. Okay, online education has many more merits. Like, because I studied with Yosef Sir online sitting on Zoom, I am being able to do such kind of presentations because he encouraged me to do so. Thank you so much, sir, because of you, I'm here doing presentations each and every day. And I also knew about the February presentation challenge from Yosef Sir because he announced it online through Zoom. So if I weren't online or if I weren't on Zoom or... The God knows that who will go to Yasser Sir studio when or not. And if I didn't go to the studio, where did I get the news from? Yes, of course, I got the news from his Zoom class. That means his online class. So, online is helping us much, much, much. And now let's come to the demerits. Dimmer means bad effects of online classes. So you may be asking me that, Zareen, I don't think so. There is any bad effect of online classes, but there is. Online classes are making children sometimes, those children who were like really affected towards technology or who really like technologies, who want to study about computer and technologies, they are getting addicted because 
I saw an example once in my online class. A girl named True Beauty entered. I don't know who she is because there is no one in our class called True Beauty, is it? Yeah, and she entered and she just started writing something really bad to the teacher as a comment in the comment section of all also on the screen she was writing. That was like really bad. So there is a lot of bad effects for that child who is doing that. Though the child does not know that what harm is going to online due to her but still she is abusing it she is not using it correctly that's a really wrong deed and do you know what kind of mental effect she will have of course she will have depression first anxieties first and she will suffer that why did i do such a misdeed she will suffer and of course the rays of the online classes like the rays of your device it also affects our brain yeah you cannot sit in front of your laptop for a longer time whenever your classes get finished close it till then right then right away close the laptop do not see it more than your online classes because today i think technologies to me have become boring at first i used to love technologies i used to see and learn through technologies but now i'm feeling really bored towards them because it has become a part of life i i do not like it right now but there is a fact here I have also seen many students who enter the class, turn their videos off and they get out and they run onto Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or different social medias. As I said before, I gave an example with myself, though that's not me, I gave an example of a bad student who abuse, uses online classes abusively and who does not like use technologies in a correct way. That boy or that girl was using social media and different kinds of applications or games not doing his or her class. So isn't that really, really not good for that child? Because if the child starts doing such abuses during this childhood, then what will that child do in the future? Can you ever imagine of it? So, as I said before, you should think before you do something. Each and everything in this world has positive sides as well as negative sides. So you should take care of both of them and control them in a balance. Don't go too excessively far or don't go too excessively like near or close to the online education but stay in the middle position that means in the perfect position so thank you so much everyone for watching this video until the end inshallah i'll come up with another interesting video next time tomorrow is our last day of february presentation challenges so don't forget to vote your winner see ya आपना शानदार आपना कहाँ से? एक टी शॉप नो, एक टी प्रोजेक्ट मो, एक टी बांग्लादेश। है देश गौर और प्रोत्साहित प्रोतिष्ठित हुए थे बॉस बांग्लादेश ऑनलाइन स्कूल। उल शेप फ्यूचर। फॉर एडमिशन प्लीज कॉल और एसएमएस टू जीरो वन सिक्स टू जीरो 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 फोर टू डबल जीरो